Hello, and good evening. Welcome to Study Pot TV. I'm your host, NJW, and I'm back with a Charleston White reaction video. Cam thought he had a sucker, I think. He didn't know Mr. White knew what his business, man. He only he, he with that business, man. He stand on business. <laughs> so let's peep out what he had to say on this little segment that I liked it out this whole interview. <laughs> he's, he's, he's standing on business. He's standing on business. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Whether I'm trying to agitate or not, you niggas stay in your feelings. Ain't nobody hit me in the mouth yet. That's they right. go for Dion, King, Vaughn, people. Everything I done disrespect, nigga, I done looked in the face. Mm -hmm. I went to the West Coast, nigga, and disrespected all the little people. Same thing happened there. I ain't back down yet. And it's on, it's on every video, every stage. I ain't back down yet. So take it how you want to take it. I'm standing on it. <laughs> hey, would you tell him I'm standing on it? You tell him, Charleston. You just what I'm talking about. Look at Cam sitting there like this here. This whole interview, he just been dogging my nigga, you know. That's why I get him, Charleston. That bullshit. I don't like everything you say, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get it done. <laughs> so fuck Dion. <laughs> fuck him. That's right. And his wife, too, P. Law. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to check that bitch. So, yeah, I'm with all that. Yeah, I'm with all that. You just want to argue. Mm -mm. And, and I, uh, some. I get paid to argue. Now, I get paid $10,000 an interview to argue. Nigga, I don't want to argue if I ain't getting paid. Yes. I like the dialogue. Listen, you said something in this interview that may have went over a lot of people's heads, but I caught it. You said what you really wanted to be was a lawyer. And what I'm hearing today is a person that is a great debater. Well, what he failed to realize is I told him I work on capital murder and death penalty cases. Mm -hmm. I just made that. I just so sat here and said, and it's in. Hold on, no, no, listen. I'm not agitating. Cam sit here this whole time and did not pay attention to this man's accolades. He never, he never did his homework on him. The whole time he's talking about Dion, this whole interview, and Charleston finally caught it, I think, right now. But it's crazy that he didn't ask him, well, what do you do for this? What do you do for that? What do you do uh, for the uh, death penalty cases? He just, he said, all he said, he's a great debater. That's crazy. Because I'm speaking from a child's perspective of children. That's what he keep, that's what he keep going all around. I'm a youth advocate who's talking about the kids from Jackson State, who's in my phone. He overlooking the fact that I told him I work on capital murder and death penalty cases as a criminal defense mitigation spec. I told him that, but he's not listening. See, because he got a narrative he's trying to paint. That's why he got questions wrote down. It ain't for dialogue. This ain't for dialogue. This is a narrative. That's why we never got to King Von. Mm -hmm. That's why we never got really to Nipsey. We stay stuck on Dion. This is about defending Dion. Yes, this ain't it. about Charleston and what Charleston do. There you go, Charleston. This whole time, this whole interview, that's all he's been doing is hitting that Dion, hitting that Dion. And a couple times he said, what if I hit you in your mouth? So Cam had a, he had a hidden agenda this whole interview. This whole interview, Cam had a hidden agenda dressed like that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't my boy though, but you is dressed. I don't know what you got on, my nigga. This is about Dion. Forty to fifty to sixty percent of this whole interview been about Dion. That's Come right. Come on now. That's right. Because. And this ain't supposed to be about Dion. HBCUs is what I keep saying, y'all. As a community activist, as a spokesman for the youth, when you say, "Fuck that bitch." What are you telling to them? Uh, hey, fuck you. that bitch. Cause they got some bitches. They saying fuck. <laughs> that's right. Fuck that bitch. That nigga. That's what he's telling them. That's right. Cause that's the only thing they can relate to. I think. You know, nowadays you can sit down and talk to your kids and in a certain way, and they not they not paying attention to you. They ignoring you. But when you you get a little aggressive, then then it, then they pay attention because I think that's what they're used to. As, I tell, a, as an I, activist, that's As an I mean. activist and as a community youth, I talk to kids like that. Nigga, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Y'all talk to kids like that, too. 
Yeah, nigga, fuck that bitch. That white school teacher don't know the fuck she talking about. Nigga, fuck that bitch. Just do good in class and don't pay that bitch no mind. I talk like that to the little niggas. Yeah, nigga, fuck that. Yeah, I talk like that. Because that's where we come from. That's right. That's right. See, I started out talking, saying, say, look at our young brother. Say, look at our young sister. They don't relate to that. I watch how they mamas come in and talk. If you don't sit your motherfucking ass down, boy, I'm going to whoop your ugly ass. So I started. You motherfucking right. That's what I'm talking about, Charleston. Put this nigga on some game. That's right. That's how they, that's what they relate to. So you have to talk to them like that. It's not always good to talk to a child like that, a little, little baby. But if you're upper age and you uh, you can comprehend, that's that that's a good way to talk to them. That's right, Charles. I knew that. I knew I liked you, Charles. Trying how the parents talk to the kids, and it became much more effective. Much more effective. You cannot address kids who listen to cussing music all day and don't cuss to them and think that's you're right. going to get that, your point across. Boy, that boy slicker than a can of oil. That's right. You can't. You can't, no, no matter how much you, money you give them, because you can buy them all the things you want, Nintendos and Playstations and all that, and you, they still not going to pay attention to you because you're trying to buy their love instead of earning their love. All day long they're hearing, fuck you, bitch, suck my dick, god damn it, kill my, and you think you finna come, excuse me, can you, no. <laughs> Say, boy, if you don't cut that goddamn shit down and go get your ass in that motherfucking buyout tub. Better response. That's right. Qualitative study. I tried it. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm talking about, Charleston. It's hard to it's hard to deal with this boy when he know what he's talking about. You know, all that other stuff, that's fine and dandy. Sometimes you, you gotta cross the line to get it done. You know, so sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get it done. <laughs> this has been another episode of Stutter Pot TV. I think Charleston White held his own. He looked good on, you know, talking about what he's talking about. And, and keep up the good work, Mr. White. Just, just don't disrespect the dead so much. That's my only problem with you. Other than that, man, keep up the good job. And, and, and I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing your next interview. And I'm pretty sure it won't be on Cam News. Go to I Am Athlete or The Pivot and, and talk to them boys. Them, them the grown men over there. NJW over and out.